In today's video, I want to discuss what we should do if we put on a bunch of weight immediately after our show. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and I'm not wearing a tank top today. Um, sadly, uh, winter. Yep, that's winter in Florida. It is down to 70 degrees today. A little bit of chill in the air. Uh, you will see some Floridians wearing jackets and boots this time of year. Quite, uh, quite interesting. But we do get tired of wearing uh, tank tops and flip flops year round. So it's nice to change your your fashion when it cools off a little bit. If you haven't watched the video that I posted yesterday on post contest strategy for eating, please watch that. Another good video to watch prior to watching this one would be the video titled Fixing Your Metabolism, which was done about a month ago. That'll also give you some insight because I'm gonna reference some things from that video. But today's video is specifically about what we should do immediately after a long dieting phase, such as one from a competition prep, where we immediately put on body fat quicker than we would want to. What should we do? Before I do that, a couple, couple questions for you guys. So please comment below. So this is the uh, No Shave November beard. And um, it's just, it doesn't even look like a beard because there's so much white in it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it professionally like touched up, just the gray parts, kind of make it look like it's more filled in. And, um, you know, I'm not going to keep the beard for a long time, but I would like to see what it looks like. It's such a weird thing getting older when I'm finally able to grow a nice full beard and now it's turning white. And so I don't want to be Santa Claus, despite the fact that it's almost Christmas. But so I may go get it dyed. Um, I get a lot of slack when I hear people say that to me, but then I, I feel like people are pretty vain with other things, with their hair and their stuff. So I'd like to at least give it a shot and see how it comes out. So uh, let me know if that's the stupidest idea you've ever heard or if you've done it yourself and had some uh, good results. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to hear from you both. Another thing I want to talk about, and this is, um, this is pretty cool. So for those of you guys that watch my videos, you know Core Nutritionals is the company that I represent. Um, Doug Miller makes fantastic products and I can't say enough about them. I use them. It's just something I believe in. I don't really feel like I'm selling anything. It's not gimmicky. They're just great products with uh, a great list of ingredients, no proprietary blends, all that good stuff. But Doug has given me the opportunity to do something that, that not anyone with Core is doing right now, and that is to give a promotional code for Core products to people only that watch my videos and my clients. So for a while now, I've been able to give this code to clients but that's a pretty limited group. But I can't write this code down, so I can't write it in the text below, I can't give it to you in writing. That's the agreement between uh, Core and myself. But I can tell you, if you go to the website, corenutritionals.com, I'll have that on the screen, and uh, I can't give you this code on the screen, but it's all capitals, P-A-U-L-R 20, Paul R 20. You'll get 20% off all the, the prices on the corenutritionals.com website, which is, a substantial discount if you buy them anywhere else. So, if you're interested in that kind of thing, let me know. Um, of course, I'm not forcing it. It's just an opportunity for you guys to save some money on great products if you're looking for a pre-workout, if you're looking for branch chain amino acids, if you're looking for a fat burn, if you're looking for a joint supplement, if you're looking for protein powders, meal replacement, post-workout, uh, Core Test is a male hormone optimizer. There's a whole line, Core Hard is for um, controlling cortisol. There's a whole line of products that Doug makes that are very fantastic and uh, I highly recommend them all. So if you're interested in core products, that's Paul R20 and only on corenutritionals.com. So let's get into the topic at hand. You've been dieting for a long period of time and you get shredded and you get on stage and after that you are going to want to eat a lot. There's a lot of reasons for that. When you diet for a long period of time and you get very low body fat, the body begins to change things. The, the way your body digests food is different. The hormones change to increase your hunger. So immediately after a long period of dieting, if you eat a big meal, you'll notice that you don't feel full. Satiety is very low. 
This is your body's attempt to get you to store body fat quicker. Some people will actually feel hungrier after eating a large meal. So food is no longer going to serve the purpose of actually creating satiety within you. So what we need to do is pay attention to what we're eating. Don't eat mindlessly. Don't just continue to consume foods. But what I'm here to talk about today is what do we do if that happens? Because I've done it. If you're watching this video, you've probably done it. And so let's move past it. Let's not give ourselves any guilt. Hell, we did a great job dieting for that long only to eat a little bit extra food. Now what are our options? So I'm gonna give you some options that I find to be very good. So the first option we're gonna discuss is what happens when you eat a lot of food in a short period. Um, let's say your show is on Friday or Saturday, you go out over the weekend, overeat a little bit, you don't train, maybe Monday or Tuesday you get back in the gym, still overeating a little bit, you step on the scale and you're up 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds. Everyone has that freak out moment, oh my God, I put on a ton of body fat. Granted, you likely have put on a little bit of body fat, but the good news is you've also probably put on a lot of fluid from the glycogen being stored in the muscles and uh, spilling over, and so there's a lot of water weight in your body. The most important thing to do during this period is to continue training, continue some form of cardio, and just get back on a set plan. Don't try to restrict yourself too much. Just give yourself numbers that are realistic. What we don't want to happen is for you to set goals for yourself that are unrealistic and then have you go over and then have more reason to feel bad and then just continue to binge eat or overeat or eat mindlessly. You wanna create realistic goals that you know you can set to, even if that's not the ideal reverse numbers. We wanna create a win. And then you'll get to see some of that weight start to come off over the next couple days. Now granted, your body fat might be higher, but we wanna find a nice place where your body fat can be so that you feel good, you feel satiated, you're full, but you're also starting to improve your performance in the gym and then feel good about yourself going forward. We don't wanna create a situation where the psychology diminishes your ability to succeed, right? You don't wanna beat yourself up every day because you're missing numbers, your scale's going up, you dieted for all this time, and you just start to feel bad and you start to re respond in a way that, you know, you just let it all go. A common question is, okay, I've dieted down all this way, I got shredded, I put on 15, 20 pounds, you spent a full week and said to hell with it mode, and you just over ate, didn't track, didn't train that much, and you're up 15, 20, 25 pounds. Should you do a mini cut? Well, if you watch my video on fixing the metabolism, which is why I referenced it, you'll understand that in a period of a week of overeating, you can get some metabolic benefit from overeating, but it's not going to be nearly offset as much body fat as you can gain. Your body fat is going to increase at a much rapid rate than your metabolism. So if you decide, you know what, I overate, I put on that, I wanna get back to my my show weight or close to it, what you're going to have to do is start dieting roughly on the same calories that you ended your diet with at contest prep and probably have to be more aggressive because in my experience, the body fat that you put on in a rapid manner immediately after a long diet is a lot tougher to get off than it was initially. It becomes much more stubborn. That body fat will not come off in the same manner as it did initially. It's going to be much more stubborn. And in my experience, you're not going to get to the same level of leanness that you did previously. So if you have another competition in mind, another photo shoot in mind, I highly suggest you avoid that overeating period and putting on body fat quickly because it will change your body composition permanently at least until you can spend a good amount of time building the metabolism and getting yourself back to a place where the body fat comes off in a controlled manner. Now, what would my suggestion be? So here would be Paul's suggestion to his clients. You did your show, you spent a couple days overeating, your weight is up a few pounds, what should you do? I would suggest we get back on a plan and that plan should be numbers that we can stick to. Stick to those numbers for about a week see where we're at, see what the body composition is doing, see how your energy levels are. Should we from there continue to add calories? Should we hold steady a little bit? Should we taper cardio? This all comes down to the individual's preferences, but I will always side on, let's spend more time in a surplus. Let's continue to allow the body to eat more, do a little less cardio and perform well in the gym, all while looking forward to that next goal and 
setting that baseline. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of control calories for a couple days, see where you settle in at. Uh, you know, I've done it to the point where I've lost like 10 pounds in a week just by getting back on a plan. Granted, I didn't look as good as I did prior to the overeating, but losing the 10 pounds made me feel better. It made me feel like I had a better starting point. I wasn't starting where I was six months ago when I started contest prep. I was starting in a much better place. Then I started the process of building, adding calories, reversing, and that's what I would suggest for most people. Once you've committed this overeating period, get back on a plan that you can do, manage that for a few days, a week, whatever it would be, and then find your new starting point. Find your new baseline where you can start to build from. All right, that would be my suggestion. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped. It was um, just a carryover from yesterday's video. I had a question come up and I thought it's pretty relevant. And uh, thank you Colin for the comment and the question. Please leave comments below if you have any questions for me and I would love to answer them and uh, I'll do another video tomorrow. I'll probably pick another topic from one of my clients. Thank you guys, and I hope you're enjoying your Tuesdays. Have great workouts.